Hi, I'm Becky Meyer and I am the Illinois Junior Holstein Dairy Bowl coach for the junior and senior teams, also our Jeopardy kids and our speech to kids that attend national convention every year. I think the most important thing for these kids is to, to let them know it's fun. I mean, if, if you can have fun with them, they'll be ready to come back. So if you're trying to start a program, I have no magic answer on how to make that happen besides you have to laugh with them. I mean, you are their chaperone and you need to make sure that things are put together and organized and, and keep track of them and make sure they're all where they need to be when they need to be and safe. But you have to know you can laugh with them and have a good time and put into, if you, um, make it an environment where they can have a good time and laugh. I mean, laugh at yourself and laugh at them and they'll laugh back at you. And if they start to have a good time, then they'll tell somebody and they'll have a good time. And it just keeps building on each other. So a normal practice would look like, um, depending where the kids are far from the state, favor that the, a lot of dairy along the north, and then there's not much in the central Illinois, and then there's quite a bit in the southern part of the state. So the kids across the northern part, we kind of pick a middle location, and then they need to come to practice every Sunday and then the kids that if we have someone participating from the southern part or if we did have anybody in the central part we are very fortunate that our extension and through the University of Illinois has we've been able to take advantage of their link system which is basically like a teleconference type system that they can call in there's no video and it's not ideal but it's not um, practical to think that someone's going to drive five six hours one way to come to practice and so um, we'll do that every Sunday and the test will start off with a written test. It's usually 25 to 30 questions and um, then we'll collect them and we actually started some of our parents and stuff. They'll sit there and grade them while we do other toss up questions. And I've gotten questions anywhere from things I remember from past competitions, whether it's our state contest or a national contest, the foundation questions we work on, a lot of them I just tell the kids they need to know those and on their own because they're pretty, There's, a, I mean, you can get them off the foundation's webpage and it's a good list for them to know and know quickly. So we will go over those usually at one practice, but otherwise the kids, you know, they it's up to them to get those, um, study them on their own and know those really as fast and as good as they can. Then we'll um, go over their tests and we keep record of their score. Because one thing that is a little different, we pick at our state contest the top five kids in each, in the Junior Dairy Bowl and the Senior Dairy Bowl. We take all five to convention and each one of them have to work the whole time. I mean, it's based on to make the, to make the actual team and not be the alternate because we don't tell them the alternate until we actually come to convention. So it kind of keeps them going and keeps them motivated to actually make the team as opposed to, oh, I made it and then sit back and relax. And as far as who are the final four, it's based on their practice practices. Do they come to practice? Do they actively participate? Are they sitting there on their phone? Are they answering questions? Are they trying to buzz in? And do they, how they do on their written test because we keep all those scores written down. And then also we make them write 10 questions every week. And they can be any dairy related thing and it's supposed to be 10 new questions to them. So I don't want any seniors writing me, what is the first milk after a cow produces, or after a cow freshens, what is that called? So I don't want any you know, first year questions. They need to be something new to them so we, we all learn and grow. And then they're supposed to email those to me the week before and so Sunday morning my printer is going crazy printing off all these questions that the kids were supposed to have turned in that week. I pass them out so then they can have those to study from on their own. And then if there are kids that are farther away, whether they're in college farther away or from southern Illinois or a different part of the state, then I just email those out and then they can print them out and study them on their own time as well. Then. Usually we always take a nice break and have some snacks. Every kid takes a week, picks a week, you know, and they'll bring anything from cookies to candy to ice cream to whatever, and we'll, we'll have a nice little break and they can chat, you know, for five, 10 minutes, and then we'll get back at practice. So we usually practice from 1.30 to 3.30 every Sunday until convention, only taking the one off. And it seems to work pretty well for us. It, it's, I mean, the kids have to be committed because it's a lot of time they have to spend. Um, but that, and then when we travel, we travel together. It just builds a lot of, does, does a lot of team building and a lot of family feel to it. So I think that's a really important thing. If you guys can make that happen, it'll make your team successful and, and build a lot of good memories.